Hi everyone, so second video review for this week is for Come Dream With Me by Karen Klein. If you want to check out my review, I have just posted that, so if you're on YouTube there's a link in the description below, and if you're on Facebook or on my blog then there is a link within the post. And this is the video review, so Come Dream With Me by Karen Klein um, is an absolutely wonderful story. Um, Danny, she's she's back home from Australia and she finds herself working at um, a dementia unit where she runs into Caroline, who is a woman who broke her heart many, many years ago. Um, so Danny's new job also leads to her making acquaintance with Angel. She's a very free spirited woman who um, has never wanted to settle down. And Danny is absolutely captivated by Angel. Like she thinks she's fabulous and she allows herself to try and embark on a new romance and um, and, and sort of indulge herself in trying to fall in love um, and let go of the past but when her past really starts complicating her chance at happiness um, Danny has a lot to work out if she's going to be free so as I say this was such a wonderful story but it was really emotional um, I loved how Danny's past sort of catching up with her was the, in the most unexpected way like usually you know this, this, this past um, ex or lover or acquaintance comes into the story and and they either sort of reform that that bond or it's the premise for the story um or they cause merry hell one or the other um but it was a really surprising element how karen built that into the story and then made it special because like i say it's not your, your typical love interest partner turning up um and changing your life it's a different way of them turning up and changing your life and I can't say too much about it because it will be a massive spoiler for the book so you do have to read it but I love that it was very special the way Karen incorporated um Caroline's involvement and introduction back into Danny's life um it's quite fragile and it was quite saddening um I found it really sad and I completely understood how emotional it was for Danny uh, but also for Caroline I could see both elements here and um I loved how that sort of it sat it sat at the centre of the story but didn't dominate it. Um and it was it was sort of a catalyst. It was there to to force Danny into making some choices, I suppose. So it also added um complication for Angel because um she had feelings for Danny and um again Danny had to work through those. So you just had all this added drama to the story because of Caroline's presence, literally a presence. Um, so I love Danny and Angel's characters. Danny, I really admired her. I really admired all she did, the sacrifices she made, the heartaches she'd been through, um, everything. Uh, with Angel, I loved her spirit. Like she was so amazingly free and um, just laid back and really relaxed. And she had this understanding of um, Danny's situation. She didn't always like it, but she had this understanding of it. Um, but it couldn't have been easy for her. So I admired that. She didn't react the way I expected her to every single time. She had her moments, but some people would have really reacted badly to that, and she didn't. So I absolutely love that. Um, she had this understanding in this level that was just really nice to have as part of the story um, and made her a really special character. But really, it's Danny's story, and it's, it's Danny's past um, that's left a lot of uncertainty in the story for them both to... Uh, navigate through new emotions and feelings and it's it's adding to all that so it's adding the complication um but also a very it's not also a complicated situation it, it, it it's sensitive as well and um the characters and their behaviors and reactions could have taken the stories so many different ways so what was nice about this is you really couldn't predict what was going to happen it could it literally could have gone any which way so it's exciting to read because you don't know what choices Danny is going to make and she has so many she really does have so many so I absolutely love that um Karen Klein's stories they just continue um to excite and impress me they're always a little bit different and she takes really wonderful and complex situations and delivers really emotional stories that are realistic um and they have that touch of inspiration that uh, that makes for a dramatic but wonderful story like you're not wallowing in sadness with some of the things even though they're like i say sensitive subjects you are embracing them and learning and enjoying them um, and and getting a really hopeful story out of it so i hope that danny and angel um will be back in another story one day um their lives together have only really just begun and i know they're going to have some brilliant adventures i can feel it and um, so i'd really like to share them with them um so i hope i hope they will be back um but yeah i really enjoyed the book it was a wonderful story like i say emotional and a little bit sensitive but 
handled with the most care and the utmost respect and um, just a really wonderful story that helped me to learn some things but also um, gave me a ch chance to to yeah get lost in that possibility of a dream as Danny and Angel were so it was a really really lovely story um I'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy of Come Dream With Me by Karen Klein, which I hope you will. If you've read Come Dream With Me, please comment below. Please let me know what you thought of the story. It'd be great to hear your thoughts. And if you haven't read it yet, but you're planning to read it, it's on your to be read list, or you're now really intrigued and thinking, I need to read that book, um, please comment below. Please let us know what you're interested in reading, because it's always great to hear uh, what's on your to be read list. And if you do read it, I hope you enjoy it. Bye.